much in our world that is asking us to be up in our minds. There's so much in our world that suggests we be somewhere else, other than here, home, in our bodies and hearts. I start working with girls around age 10 and 11, and they're still in this cocoon of childhood, but they're starting to explore adolescence. I think I've taken an understanding from Melissa's work of how to hold sacred space, how to honor someone for where they're at and not try to change their experience, not try to change the process that is unfolding, but to really meet it. They can be messy and they can be fully themselves. I would say pre-puberty is a time where these girls are still very much children and orienting towards family but starting to get curious about something else. What I strive to offer is a safe space for girls to be bouncing back and forth between being a child and being a young woman and having their feelings and their emotions along the way, but to really start to explore who they are and who they're becoming in relationship to themselves, to the world, and to their peer group. We talk about what it feels like to be a girl in our culture. Like, what are the images that girls are receiving from the media, from television, and is that true to our experience? We talk about our bodies and the cycles that women go through. We talk about sexuality. We talk about our relationships with our families as we're leaving our little family unit and heading out into the world. What does that bring up for us? How does it feel to be growing up? How does it feel to be changing along the way? Adolescents long for experiences that connect them to something far greater than themselves. We explore getting to know ourselves through connection to the natural world, and then we also work with the expressive arts. The more that we learn how to inhabit our bodies and learn to track what is happening within ourselves, the more we can know ourselves more fully and show up in the world as our true self. We have done a lot of things in the past. We've done art projects and journaled and had councils, which has been really nice to actually be able to talk about the things going on in my life and not, be, not feel like I'm being judged. My journey has been different from my friends at school because of the opportunities I've been able to have with Girls Group. I think that I've been able to be more free with my emotions. I know a lot of my friends aren't comfortable to feel as much, and I think that's one of the most valuable parts of Girls Group. I learned that it's okay to talk about things that might not be positive and to hear other people's side of the story and dance. We've done a lot of different like shows. It's definitely changed me and I love all of it. I've learned a lot from just to like speak from your heart and don't push any of your emotions away. Just feel all of them because it's really important to really feel what's going on, even if you're having a hard time. Definitely helps you to be open. It's because it's creativity and you have to be open to be creative. My self-esteem has gone way up. I feel like I'm a better person and I love my body and everything about myself, I've kind of grown to love, which is amazing.
I think women have been gathering in sacred circles for thousands of years and that it is the most natural thing in the world for us to gather and create safe space for us to share in a deep way. I've really become more of like a womanly figure and noticed myself and noticed what I love and figured out who I am. Learn to love who you are and how you differ from everybody else and just love yourself because that's the only you you can be. <laughs> I believe it's important to mark transitions in a culture that is asking us to be up in our mind, in a culture that is asking us to be somewhere else. It's a really beautiful thing when girls have the opportunity to be witnessed by their family, but not only their family, but their community, as well as their peers. And I see them step into this part of themselves that is so whole and so empowered when they know that they're being seen. girls group has shaped me is that in society we're told a lot of the time how to be a certain way and here I feel like I can really be myself and I can become who I am and it's not like I'm not told exactly who I need to be. Well it makes you open, open to new possibilities and to new places you can go in life. You're exploring the past as well as who you are in the future. So you're looking at your ancestors, you're looking at who the women of the past and it, it's magical. I honestly feel that I've been claimed by the young women. When they're in front of me there is no other place that I want to be. So yeah, it's totally an honor to be doing this work. I yeah, it's a true privilege, yeah.